what's his name? Matt. I'm I'm mm, I'm looking at you. I'm hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheree. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing um, another Married at First Sight review. This is season nine. I never remember the episode. I think it's maybe episode five or six. It'll be in the title. Um, before we get into that, though, I just wanted to know, um, get you guys feedback on the quality of the sound of these videos because I film in an open space. And so I kind of have to like edit out the background noise, which kind of makes the sound kind of wonky. I'm eventually going to have to get um, an external microphone to attach to my camera. Um, and I have a Canon EOS. M50, I believe is the name of it. And so I need a, a microphone for that. Normally I would like, you know, record my audio on my iPhone and then transfer it into, but that's like a lot of work. <laughs> and like today on a day like today when I'm rushing and I have stuff to do, but I still want to know, you know, just film quickly and edit. I just want to be able to just do that. So let me know if you have any suggestions for microphones and what do you think about the sound quality as it is right now. And yeah, so let's get started. So yeah, we're gonna start with Greg and Deanna. Again, notes over here. So that's why I'll be looking over here. Uh, they are still such a very cute couple. Let me make sure I'm good on time and battery. Yes, I am, okay. <laughs> um, so they are very still a very cute couple. Um, they start there towards the end of the honeymoon now. So they're starting to discuss, um, you know, living arrangements when they get back to Charlotte. Um, Greg, I think Deanna has a townhouse that she doesn't, she's not really fond of, but Greg, Greg has a four bedroom house. Um, uh, and it came up, you know, that he was, he kind of like slipped it in there that he was engaged and he had a fiance before and she was kind of like, mm, mm. yeah, I would have been like, Let's rewind that back. Let's talk about that a little bit more. But, you know, it's just something that, you know, she could be aware of, but it's not really like a big deal. It's just information. It's good to know moving forward. But in terms of her, you know, I mean, you could feel however you want to feel, but it it was in the past. <laughs> um, but it's just good to know. So, yeah, he has a four bedroom house. And, you know, I, I like this part about it because um, there's kind of like two Christian couples and he goes to Elevation. Shout out to Pastor Bird. I got to go to Elevation as well. I'm not going to say which location because security. But um, yeah, shout out to Elevation and everybody that goes to Elevation and the Carolinas and all the other, I think we have locations. I know we have location in Toronto. I think there's one in Virginia, but definitely spread out all over North and South Carolina. So shout out to everybody that goes to Elevation. Um so yeah, that was good to see them connect on that level. That's just, you know, I always like to see people connect on a spiritual level. So shout out to them. Let's see, they're still on the no compliment um, thing. And I'm trying to make sure, excuse me guys, that the lighting is okay. And if you hear noise, it's because people slam doors around here and then the people having a pool party every day apparently which goes into my nap, but I'm going to go off on a tangent, but I just want to make sure that I still have enough light and stuff going on. So anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. So they're still doing the no compliments, um, which I think is weird. I kind of can see them going into the friend zone and I don't want that for them because I actually think they would make a pretty decent couple. So I just don't want them. And they're affectionate more so than the couple was last um, season. I can't remember their names. But I don't want to see them going in that direction. And I kind of can see a glimpse of it. But they're definitely more affectionate than the couple from the black couple from last season. So that didn't make it. I can't remember name. Anyway, that is pretty much... Yeah, all for Greg and Deanna. Moving on to Elizabeth and Jamie. So we see them uh, waking up and they have had sex, which got me to thinking, did her period just come on? Not that her period was on during the wedding and it was going off, but her period like just came on. Came on. Does her period only last for 
like two days like how does that work i mean do what you need to do but <laughs> you just announce to the world that your period was on and then kind of like the next episode we see that you um yeah you just went ahead so i don't know what's going on over there but i'm just like yeah okay that's interesting <laughs> um so yeah so they had sex and he told her apparently that he loves her and apparently she kind of feels the same way she mentioned how you know she feels like she has love at first sight all right guys i don't know where that cut off at but my memory card was full <laughs> i'm telling you i'm struggling to film this video today all right but we're gonna keep chugging along uh, hopefully it doesn't cut back off anyway um so yeah i was talking about elizabeth and jamie and um let me just move on to the next one. Like, where did I leave off? Um, so, yeah, basically, they had sex. She said it's love at first sight. Um, I think that Jamie... <laughs> Jamie just is looking for a thrill right now. And I think right now Elizabeth is providing that for him. And I think I said this in my other video, this isn't going to be sustainable over a long period of time because crazy, you eventually want to get tired of it. And so, yeah. So moving right along, has said, said, he loved, said um, he said he loved her. Um, I'm going to skip on over to oh so the girls and the guys got together separately and i believe something came up about them all oh, them having arguments and who had arguments already and of course elizabeth and jamie already had something um going on and she didn't want to mention that um because she believed it's not their it's not their business and it's not however they're they are in very particular situations where I feel like they should be you know um secure enough to share because the only a few people in the world has had this situation um of what's going on with them but I just feel like she was just she doesn't like being portrayed in a certain light I feel like Elizabeth is very insecure very childish um very immature and she just needs to grow up she really is just a, a daddy's girl who's looking for a, another daddy basically to replace what she's lost and it's just it's gonna get old like even her on on the on the boat or whatever like of course, that it looked like some rough water and i get um motion sickness just riding in cars um not so i get it more in cars than on planes um I'm going to be on a boat next week, so I need to make sure I got the medicine, but I got to make a mental note um, to get prepare for that. But, okay, you're going to be sick, but you don't have to be, like, Amber was sick too, but she, I kind of felt like she was the only, like, dramatic one. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm over Elizabeth. <laughs> I want to give her, you know, a little bit more rope. <laughs> But I'm just, I just, I'm over her. I really am over her. Um, what else? Yeah, that's, yeah, bye Elizabeth. Bye girl. All right, moving on to Keith and Iris. And um, so we see them, they are doing um, excursions and I believe they're on the water. And he made the comment about stop talking to me like you're my mom and I could see that I knew it that she talks too much um and I could see her going in the direction of being you know controlling and wanting to like manage everything about him and I think it's just gonna get old for him too like just shut up <laughs> that's so me that's like I apologize Iris I should not have said shut up but just you talk too much and stop trying to tell, you know, grown men and what to do and just treating them like boys and just, it's a control issue. It really it boils, down, it boils down to a control issue. Um, but yeah, so we see them, um, people in the background, man, got to get through this video. So we see them as they get on the island um, after the boat or whatever, um, they go exploring. Um, 
and I'm like the other couples. I'm like, I'm staying near the beach. I'm not exploring nothing. I'm not getting kidnapped by somebody while exploring. I'm not discovering nothing. Uh, if I hear a noise, I'm out. I'm not, no, we're not discovering any of those things. We're going to put our, our feet in the water and because, you know, I can't swim. So we're not doing all that either, but just, you know, laying out and relaxing. <laughs> But uh, I, I enjoy seeing them being playful, like him, like scaring them and then like, um, you know, just going back and forth with the banter. That was cute to see them together. Um, but then he loses his ring. And I think she was kind of already annoyed by him, you know, messing with her while they were <laughs> discovering the island. And so she's like, you know, has an attitude. She's agitated and. They're looking for, and I can only imagine trying to find a doggone ring in this doggone beach sand. Uh, but they, he eventually finds it, and I would be annoyed too. I wouldn't necessarily, at least I can say sitting here, like I wouldn't have an attitude with him, but I would be annoyed that, you know, you lost your ring. Like how? How? Just keep your ring on your finger, so, sir. So, yeah, I think that was it for Keith and Iris. I don't remember them discussing um, living arrangements or maybe I missed that because I watched this episode like a few went on um, Wednesday or Tuesday when it came and then I just watched it a little bit um, this morning. Um, I didn't watch the whole episode over, but I think that was it for Keith and Iris. So let's move along. So. Last but not least, Amber and Matt, um, the thing that stood out for me on this episode of them with them was, you know, they were discussing, you know, arrangements of um, financial arrangements when they got back because Matt is kind of transitioning and um, out of, well, at least we think he's transitioning out of um, basketball and he brings up to her, like, what if I take a contract, you know? I think he wants to start this uh, detailing, I forgot what type of detailing um, business once he gets back to Charlotte. Uh, I don't know if it's already in the works or what stages stage he's in at the current moment. But she was like, basically, no, that's not going to work if you're going to be gone for like seven or eight months out of the year and we're just married. That's not going to work. That's not going to work, sir. So why would you even put yourself in a predicament to sign up for something like this? with all the challenges that comes along with this already and then you're going to add another challenge to it with you being gone like i feel like the expert shouldn't have even picked him because of his situation the possibility that's just this is just not smart so but she yeah she basically told him that's if that's kind of a deal breaker that's not going to work and then she says you know i make a she basically said that i make like 80k and i could like support us while you get your business going which i thought was like hey girl that's very nice of you i mean it is your husband and this is the real thing um but apparently in, the, in that moment he appeared to be okay with it on camera right and then make sure we're still recording yes we are <laughs> and then off camera he says something to her about it and then we pick up with them kind of being angry and them on the bed and them like discussing it now i didn't like like he waited until the cameras were gone to kind of like get at her and you know bring it up portraying himself one way on camera and then off camera he's another way it reminds me of that dude from last season who was mentally and emotionally abusing that girl um on camera and off camera as far as we know i don't want that situation to happen again with amber and i'm kind of like um, i don't amber is like a little puppy to me like i just want to take care of her i don't want that for amber so i what's his name matt i'm i'm mm, i'm looking at you i'm gonna get before i say some more stuff i must keep watching but no, you you can't do that. Don't I don't like that sneaky stuff. That's really sneaky. So, um, let's see. Anything else? Yeah, I think that is it. So, yeah, 
I I think we should still continue to be on schedule um, for next week. And even though I'm going to be traveling, but I'll be back next weekend to record and watch and hat should be on time. You know, consistency. I took a break and I, I even though I have 50 11 things to do, I wanted to remain consistent at least with Married at First Sight. Um, so yeah, let's talk below. Let me know what you guys think about the episode. And as always, you guys be blessed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.